Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video to get some important information out there, um, especially since a lot of you guys are going to be buying a lot of things over the coming days after, yeah, obviously, Black Friday and Thanksgiving. And I think this information is kind of important, and I think some of you probably already know this, maybe some of you don't. But in, in case that a lot of you don't, I want to make sure you guys know about this. And it has to do with the F4 flight controllers, what kind of models that these F4 flight controllers are going to be in, and which ones are going to be better and which ones are the ones you want to avoid. So I wanted to start off with a couple of examples here that are bad. Um, there are two models that are, I know are very bad are the SPC Maker 90NG and the 110NG. And these, these both, both these models have gotten bad reviews because they just basically don't fly and it has to do with the flight controller and the gyro, specifically the gyro on these flight controllers. So obviously these are all going to be F4 flight controllers going to be talking about here, but if you look at the specifications of these models, you should check to see what kind of gyro uh, the flight controller has. So if you go down here, we see here it's got an Omnibus F4 Nano flight controller. So obviously there's going to be a bunch of flight controllers out there. There's way too many more than I can cover, but the, the thing you want to look for is the gyro. And in this case here, it's called the IMU. It could be called gyro here. In this case, it's, this is one of these so-called 32K gyros. They're 32K capable, which means that they can do a gyro and pid loop up to 32K, whereas most of the uh, older boards can do a maximum of 8K, 8K. Now, there's some debate as to whether that 8K or 32K is better, or so I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, just know for the fact that the, the, the gyros you want to be looking out for here are the ones that are 32K capable, and in this case, they're going to start with something called ICM and 20. In this case, it's 20608. It's going to be something like it's part of the series from this company. It's just actually the same company that makes uh, the MPU 6000, which is the good one. I think that company is called Inverness or Inverness or something like that. But you want to look for these, these basically something that's like it says ICM 20 or something, something. That, those are the, these are the ones you want to be cautious about. And the reason this board is no good in this model is because it's hard mounted and it's very sensitive to vibrations which causes a feedback loop and the thing just freaks out when you try and take off. So this happens on this model, the 90NG, and also on the 110NG. If you look at the specs on this model as well, it's got the same flight controller with the same gyro. So that's why you want to avoid this particular gyro. Now, there is there is one exception to this and that's the, the diatone uh, the GTR90. I, I think it's got a 32K gyro. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's the exact same model as this one, but they have, in that flight controller, they have properly mounted it. it is, it's got soft mounted grommets, uh, these little silicone grommets that actually soft mount the entire flight controller. So that model doesn't have any of the issues that the 90NG and the 110NG has because it has been, it's been, they've properly designed the frame and the flight controller stack to account for the sensitivity of this gyro. So just keep that in mind. So, particular. So for these, some of these models, if they're if they're not known to be properly mounted, you're probably going to have issues. So be aware of that. So this is another model you want to avoid. Now, if you take the, I guess this sort of information to its logical conclusion, you can look at some other uh, examples here of other flight controllers. For, for example, here's the uh, Hollybro Kukute F4 flight controller. Very good flight controller. As you can see here. In the image, the gyro here is soft mounted. This is actually, I think it's the same gyro as in the 90NG, if I remember, if I, I'm not exactly sure. It's, it's the same series. So we go back here, we will scroll down to specs and under the ICM here, this is the ICM 20689 gyro. So I think it's a little bit slightly different variation of the same series. It's, it is 32K capable, but you can see here that they've designed it so that the gyro will sit on this little foam pad and it's going to be basically buffeted from vibrations, which means that, you know, as you know, as, as a lot of people already know, this is a very good flight control here and has done very well. That's because they've engineered it and designed it such that they are utilizing the gyro properly and not just sticking it on the board where you're going to have issues. Now, if you look at another popular uh, flight controller here, this is the DYS Omnibus F4 Pro. This one does not have the 32K capable gyro. It's got an MPU 6000, I believe. Let me see, let's double check here. Yeah, so the gyro here is the MPU 6000. 
It, obviously, this is a little bit older gyro, but and it's only capable up to 8K, 8K. But you know, a lot of people will say for beta flight, that's all you really need. And this is a very popular flight controller. It's done very well, um, and it works very well. So, and it, so if you want, if you want to be absolutely safe, get a flight controller, uh, an F4 flight controller that has the MPU 6000, and you should be golden. You don't really need to worry too much about vibration dampening. Now, if you look at something here that I haven't gotten yet, but I am. I am going to be getting here. This is the Eishin Stack X a four fly tire. This has a, a four flight controller with one of the uh, gyros that we're concerned about here. And let's see, right here is the MC, ICM 602, I'm sorry, 20608. This is the same one that's in the 90NG. And uh, if, there, if I can see a photo of that flight controller, I believe it is not, there's no, um, yeah, they don't show a photo of this one, but there's no soft mounting of the gyro on this flight controller. It's hard mounted to the board. So if you want to uh, use this particular stack, you're going to have to soft mount the flight controller to make sure that you don't get the uh, D-term oscillations, the vibrations, etc. that are going to cause you problems. And um, sometimes they might not even fly if the vibrations are bad enough. So I'll take this information and we'll look at a stack or a, a flight controller here that I I've never used or never reviewed or never seen before. I just picked one at random here. This is just a F4 Omnibus, the generic flight controller I found on Banggood. And I was wondering if this one would cause trouble. And I see here that they've uh, soft mounted the flight controller. And this is, this is, I'm sorry, they soft mounted the gyro. And this is in some sort of like gel or some kind of like vibration dampening material. It's not on a foam pad like the Kukute. But I'm pretty sure that, that this is the 32 capable gyro than one of the ICM series. Let's take a look and and we'll see here. And then under features here, you can see it uses the ICM 20608, the exact same gyro that's in the 90NG. But I suspect that uh, if you get this particular flight controller, uh, you should be okay because they've, they've actually designed it so that the gyro is encased in gel, so it shouldn't have any vibration issues where it's not going to be able to fly. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this information was helpful. Uh, if you feel like this could be helpful to other people, please do share this video and let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.